fake video games are a thing that have existed since the rise in popularity of gaming and the dawn of the internet itself. From simple playground rumors to hoaxes spread by mischievous gaming magazines, collections of slapped together PNGs found on DeviantArt, and more professional efforts created as fun artistic exercises. But probably one of the most common forms of fake games comes from the ones seen in online digital horror. You know, your classic tales of haunted video game cartridges found at garage sales, and Sonic the Hedgehog beta builds that now serve as the summer home for just a lovely couple of eldritch demons. But there's one fake game in particular that's always stuck out to me as an odd anomaly. It's weird existence, it's oddly quality production, and it's relative obscurity in the online digital horror community. So why not talk about it for a minute or two? This is Mario Knights. Mario Knights, in its totality, is three things. A video, a picture, and a small blurb in a pretty unassuming creepypasta by the name of Mario is a Monster, by creepypasta author Slime Beast. Now Slime Beast may not be a name you recognize, but you probably recognize his work, at least if you were into creepypastas way back in the day, with his two most famous stories being I Hate You, another Mario World creepypasta, and probably his most recognizable Abandoned by Disney. But back to the story at hand. Mario is a Monster, written sometime back in 2015, is interesting, at least in terms of presentation. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, back in the era, there was this popular joke or fan theory or headcanon, whatever you want to call it, that Mario, beneath that jovial facade, was secretly fucked up and evil. Mad Pat made a whole two-parter about it, and everyone ate that shit up. People were playing that clip of Mario stomping on Luigi's shoe on repeat, fucking Dorkly and other animators were cranking out shitty animations of Mario killing Bowser with a fucking hatchet and fucking flash gits. I'm Joe Rogan. I'm gonna say the N-word. And this creepypasta mirrors that awfulness, taking the guise as a forum user detailing all of the times Mario was quote-unquote evil in all his games, pointing out the obvious, but also going to the lengths of constructing weird hidden narratives around Mario's adventures, most of which involving whipping. Huh. Anyway, none of that is actually important. What's important is what comes at the end, where the final game the author brings up is not one from Mario's usual catalog. A game the author claims was the last of the Super Nintendo Marios, and also sold remarkably low for a Mario game, Mario Knights, a game that none other than the author himself had any recollection of. Edit. Nobody really played that as a kid? Someone must have. It came in the black box with Mario's face on the front inside of Eag's mouth, and Mario Knights in reflective silver letters. I played it for hours. I'll find a picture somewhere. Edit. Okay, I can't find the pictures. Anyone? And, for a while, that was it. Until... In 2017, a user by the name of Old Man Murphy leaves a comment under the story post with a link to a video from the channel Why Are You Scared, simply titled Mario Knights. And finally, we can get to the thing I actually wanted to talk about! Yippee! What captivates me about Mario Knights is subtlety. In a world where most online digital horror is over the top, bloody, malformed, and usually makes itself perfectly clear that what is being presented to us is a fabrication, Mario Knights is the closest out of any of these to almost being, I don't know, believable. Well, almost. I mean, it kind of breaks the illusion of it ever being real within the first five seconds. A Super Nintendo is not handling a high-quality 3D intro like this. But what I mean to say is, it's presented in an extremely Nintendo horror way, you know? In that style where it's just really weird and trippy and a bit unexpected, but it's never too much, you know? It's PG horror, but with that distinct flavor of Nintendo acid trip. I mean, just starting with the title screen and EAG's design, still looks and feels like something Nintendo would create. Kind of reminds me of some of the boss characters found in the Mario and Luigi games. 
as well as that name, Yag. Like, I'm actually surprised Nintendo hasn't used that name for a Mario enemy. That feels like a name they would actually come up with. And especially his laugh at the title screen. <laughs> now that's a Nintendo-ass evil laugh. And after that impossible but pretty cool title sequence, we get a look at the map screen, which carries that subtle feel. You get a good look at the Night Kingdom, its desolate landscape, these odd purple pipes that appear to be pumping out this poisonous sludge, not only in the center of the map, but also on this brick wall thing in the kingdom's harbor. A skyscraper in the center of a ruined city that can only be assumed to be Eag's hideout. An underground bug level in this fucking mountain with a face, which I think screams the most Nintendo horror out of this entire thing. Like, it's so ominous, but... It's so fucking stupid, you know? It's dumb. It's really dumb. I want to play the Face Mountain level, man. I really do. I want to know what's in that level. I want to play it. I want to get all the fucking Yoshi coins. But like I keep saying, sinister, odd, off-putting, but still manages to hit just all the right notes. And not to mention, this is also actually shockingly similar to a real-world example, being Mario's Wacky Worlds, a cancelled Mario title for the Philips CDI. And while not actually being made directly by Nintendo, it's interesting how similar it is in feel to Mario Knights. Not just with both sharing the Super Mario World art style, but how it also manages to have no shortage of unnerving and off-putting imagery. Like, holy shit, what the hell is that. Well, what a fascinating video, and we're only halfway through it. I wonder what the other 25 seconds of this intriguing little video hold. Well, Mario enters a level and walks through the dark, scary woods, and it's dark, and there's dead guys hanging from trees, and there's hyper-realistic blood and guts everywhere, and piles of guts everywhere, and stinky little flies, and then Mario gets jump-scared by the dead hand from The Legend of Zelda, and then the video ends. Wow. Yeah, that's really how it ends. One of the most intriguing and somewhat accurate fake game setups ever also has one of the lamest and most played out hat drops of all time. Now, to be fair, this isn't entirely the video creator's fault, assuming they and Slime Beast aren't one in the same. The details of Mario Knights in the original Slime Beast story, which I purposefully kind of skimmed over, is filled to the brim with these types of cliches. Highlights include Mario receiving a maggot power up, a Grey Yoshi that pukes up red acidic bile, and an in-game timer where if Mario doesn't beat Iag fast enough, he bites a chunk out of Princess Peach's skull. So truly, what the video creator did add here was really damn impressive. Their only shortcoming was playing too close to the actual story. Anyway, to make a long story short, intriguing video with a pretty not great payoff, but an amazing hook. I'd love to see a more scaled back take on the concept, feeding less into the overplayed tropes, and really just having fun with this whole Nintendo-esque horror feel it had going on. And on the topic of fan input, despite the internet going crazy for this stuff again nowadays, not much love has been shown to Mario Knights. But hopefully, with this video, I was able to shine just a little bit of light on it. A little bit of moonlight. <laughs> Anyways, as always, big thanks to my patrons, even that rascally Dean, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.